And I'm surprised that nobody has spoken about this solution because it's obvious, it's completely obvious for me. When you look at microbiome of a person over the age of 50, they lose um, somewhere in between 30 to 50% of their gut microbes, meaning that they lose these warriors that are responsible for protecting their immune system. And um, as we get older, of course, we start to lose those microbiome diversity, but that doesn't mean that the microbiome ages. The microbiomes do not age at all. Those microbes don't age. So I'm really shocked that nobody has said, hey, we can take the fecal matter of younger, healthy people that will absolutely survive this and transfer that fecal matter to the older people to give them a fighting chance as we, um, um, you know, give them more diversity within their gut to protect their immune system. We know that it works. Um, there's a few laws that the FDA uh, requires, which is that um, they're checked for a few things, that they don't have um, a certain gene that allows another person to become immune to certain medicines. That's one of them, as well as, you know, this, this um, C. difficile, I believe it is, which is highly contagious and can be, uh, be very problematic uh, long term. I, I completely understand that. But at this moment in, in this, you know, in any virus or pandemic like state, the trading of fecal matter, even of people that have had the virus and gotten rid of the virus, is a really great way to support people and to help them um, also build up an immunity completely natural and build up their immune system with a lot of strength. Okay, all right. So basically what you're saying is that a fecal matter transplant could be a solution to the coronavirus pandemic? I completely believe so. And I believe that fecal matter transplants are the future of health. I believe that we will we will begin trading that on platforms based on health and based on your metrics. And this is, you know, why we're looking at really exploring these metrics to help people help people. 